what are all these numbers? Does your pay stub look like gibberish? Let's dive in and learn how to read it. Hi, it's Leslie at Gusto, and today we're gonna talk about how to read your pay stub. First of all, pay stubs can look a little different. This depends on the state that you're in and the payroll provider your company uses. So we're gonna use a sample from Gusto, but yours could be formatted a little bit differently. So the main formula you're gonna see on your pay stub is your gross pay minus your pre-tax deductions, minus employee paid taxes, minus post-tax deductions, equals net pay. And net pay is the money you take home at the end of the day. Okay, let's define some terms. Gross pay is the big number. It is your salary, it's what you earned for the whole pay period. Pre-tax deductions are things like health insurance and 401k. These are contributions that are taken out before taxes are calculated on your pay stub. Then employee taxes. These are state and federal income taxes, social security and Medicare, state disability in some states, and local taxes in some areas. Then, post-tax deductions are things like garnishments, if that applies to you. Do all the math, subtract those out, and you're left with your net pay. What about other numbers on your pay stub? Employers actually might include some reimbursements. That's if you bought something for the business and you just need to be paid back for it. You might also see employer contributions to insurance, like health insurance or 401k, and employer paid taxes. Employer paid taxes include FICA, which is Social Security and Medicare, and state and federal unemployment. And that's it. Got small biz questions? Ask Gusto. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to quickly learn how to become a payroll pro.